Hola, this is Sharon, and I wanted to share two projects I made. One is a thank you card, and I used the lovely gifts that I got from Lavish Laces, who's owned by Gisela. So here is the card, and it's one of those um, corrugated cards that I got from my dear friend Karen who's Laundry Queen 88 and what I did is I painted it with this paint it's called metallic acrylic paint and it says plaid but it's shiny So then I put this beautiful lace that I won, and this is what it looks like off of the card. It's this beautiful, beautiful lace. And see how it has the edging here. So I put that on the front, and then these are the crochet flowers I make and I put a button from Laura Loves Lace and then this is another one from Gisela and this looks oops, like this isn't that beautiful really it was hard for me to cut into that any of these because I'm such a hoarder and then I cut this out with the nestabilities, put some bling, it says thank you. And then these are those cute little rosettes that she sent me. Come like a long string, so I cut off three of them. And then, you know, it has this little, whatever that's called. And I cut around that, most of it. I missed a piece there, but that's okay. And let's see, did I cover all the products? Yes. So these three are from Gisela. And then inside, this beautiful paper I got from Lydia, who is, um, oh my goodness. Oh, I tripled their dog, you. It's a Prima paper. And then this one I won a long time ago from... Carlene, who is, is it the Pink Scrapper 99? I'm not for sure. I'm sorry. So that's the thank you card. And see how shiny it is? That paint is just gorgeous. I'm going to have to get some more. I think I got it at Walmart. Then I altered the Bolsa box that Laura gave me. Laura loves lace and Laura gave me these flowers she gave me this bling this lace here I got from Roxy Car 11 Roseanne and I used Mod Podge and put the um, not the shiny one the other one I forget what you call it but it's not the shiny one I probably should have used the shiny one but anyway, I didn't. And then this little piece of stretchy lace. Now you're going to tell what kind of hoarder I am. I got this a long time ago from one crafty cookie, Terry. Hi, Terry. Finally used some of it. So what I did, see how it has this long piece here? I just cut it off. Then cut it off. And then to get it through here... I used my crochet hook and pulled it through. And that's how I did that. And I took this off to paint everything and do the lace and then put it back on. And voila! Now inside I haven't done anything other than paint it, of course. I hope this... My I didn't think of that when I opened it up and I glued the edges. 
it buckles a little. I'll have to put a little bit more glue on that. But that's the inside. See how shiny? And I got to fill this up with goodies and use it. So I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. But I hope you like how I decorated it. So fun. I really like that. So those are two more projects with laces. And I love making cards with laces. It doesn't have to be just for altering other things. It can be for cards. Eh? Okay, let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. And as my friend Laura has given me here, Inspire, I hope I've passed on some inspiration for all of you. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a pin in there. Let's put a pin. Let's see. I've got so many. So many wonderful people have given me. This one was one in that um, swap with the laces and the trims. How would this look? it to the side. Come on, get in there. Doesn't want to get in there. Maybe let's try a longer one. This is a beautiful one. <laughs> it's being stubborn. Here, let's try the bottom layer. Gosh. Now the glue I use for this is that Frappet Fabri-Tac. There, how does that look? You know, the colors don't stand out. Let's get something with more color to it. Let's see. Where did I put those ones my dear friend made me? Ooh, those are red and I don't have red in this. Here, purple. There's some red in this, but purple. I don't have purple in this. How about this one? It has a little bit of purple, but not too much. And it's got that heart, pink heart. Please go in. And that Fabri-Tac must be so hard it won't go through it. That stuff really sticks. There. How's that? That look okay? If I want to put it in an envelope, it's got to go where it's not sticking out so much. Maybe this way. There. How about that? Does that look okay? Or is it blocking that? Gosh, just to get a pin in, look how much time it takes. Get in there. Okay, there, I got it in there. I'm happy with that now. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.